Really quick before we begin, I know between this lockdown and this quarantine, so many of you have had such a difficult and hard time. All I can tell you is stay strong, stay positive. Don't stop dreaming. Don't stop believing before you know it things will get much better. As for me, it's been very difficult during this lockdown. I know you guys always seem with a big smile and a great attitude. And that's because when I film these Spain on the Fork videos, I know that you are at the other end of the tunnel watching this and that has given me so much life. So I would like to thank you and let you know how much I deeply appreciate you. Anyways, today we have another great episode. We are making the best ever Spanish potatoes, patatas a la importancia. Now, patatas a la importancia translates to important potatoes. I know it's kind of like a weird name, important potatoes. Why? Because the potatoes are treated like a main ingredient here. They're dusted up from flour and some egg mixture, fried in extra virgin olive oil, and then you finish cooking the potatoes in a beautiful rich broth sauce, guys. This is such a gorgeous dish and the flavors will completely blow away. But the best part here, this recipe is so easy to make and it's made using the most basic ingredients. If this is your first time here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified when I release new content. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. I'm going to begin by rinsing two medium-sized Yukon Go potatoes under some cold running water and scrubbing them clean. As you guys know, I love to leave the skins on the potatoes whenever I can because it gives them a beautiful texture and flavor, but if you prefer, you can peel your potatoes. Once the potatoes are well washed, I'm going to pat them completely dry. and cut each potato into rounds that are about a quarter inch thick. For the next step, I'm gonna crack two organic eggs into a bowl, season the eggs with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna whisk the eggs together until they're perfectly combined. In a separate bowl, I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, and once again, season it with sea salt and black pepper. And I'm gonna give it a quick mix, that way everything's evenly divided. For the final step, let's coat our slices of potato. Begin with the all-purpose flour mixture, and then into the egg wash. and continue to do this until all your potatoes are coated. All right, we have our potatoes ready. Let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna be using a large frying pan. I'm gonna heat this with a medium heat and add in one third cup of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm gonna start adding the slices of potato in there. You want them to be in a single layer, so cook these in batches, that way you don't overcrowd the pan. After two and a half to three minutes, I'm gonna start flipping the potatoes to cook the other side. And look at that beautiful light golden color, that's exactly what these potatoes are supposed to look like. After a total of five to six minutes, that's about two and a half to three minutes per side, I'm gonna start removing the potatoes from the pan and transferring to a dish with some paper towels. And continue to cook up your potatoes in batches until they're all done. Now using the same pan with the same heat, as you can see, there's still plenty of extra virgin olive oil in that pan. I'm gonna add in half of an onion that I finely diced, and three cloves of garlic that I finely minced. And start mixing those garlics and those onions with that extra virgin olive oil. You do wanna mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. After about three minutes, and those onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of cornstarch and a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. And start mixing these ingredients together until they're well combined.
Once all these ingredients are well mixed, I'm gonna add in half a cup of white wine and lightly season with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna mix all these ingredients together until they're well combined and we end up with a thick sauce. About one minute later and I end up with this beautiful thick sauce. I'm gonna start adding the potatoes back into the pan. At this point, they don't have to be in a single layer. You can stack them around each other. I'm gonna pour in some vegetable broth into the pan, enough to cover the potatoes. In my case, it's exactly three cups of vegetable broth. And hit this from a medium heat to a medium high heat. And at this point, you don't have to mix this around anymore. You just let it naturally do its thing, but I do recommend that you give the pan a quick shake once in a while. That way, all the ingredients are evenly divided. And again, guys, you don't have to mix this, but do give that pan a quick shake once in a while. After about 25 minutes and there's virtually no broth left in the pan, you've ended up with this beautiful thick sauce and all that broth has been absorbed by those potatoes. This dish is ready to go. You can always tell when your potatoes are done. Just pierce them with a toothpick. And if it easily goes in, they are ready to go. I'm gonna remove this from the heat. And I'm gonna serve these patatas a la importancia directly out of the pan, garnished with some freshly chopped parsley. Guys, look how beautiful this turned out. I'm gonna give it a try and let you know how it turned out. Seriously, folks, this looks so delicious. Here we go. Wow, it is so delicious. First things first, the texture of those potatoes, they just kind of melt in your mouth. And as for the flavors, you got that nice crust in the outside of the potatoes, which has softened up the sweet smoked Spanish paprika, the garlic, the onions, that white wine that really shines through. Guys, this is one of the best potato dishes that help from Spain. Make these patatas at home, and I guarantee they will completely blow you away. Again, guys, so easy to make, made with the most basic ingredients. Really quick before I go, a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Jim Owens. Again, Jim, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, Consider becoming one to help with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and the icon above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.